Algebra 2, this is Chapter 4, Section 4. This is going to be the second video in the series. This one's on translations. So in Algebra 1, we would look at a translation. It would say negative 4, 2. And what it would mean, it would mean to take each one of these points. So if I take this point right here, and I'm going to move it back 4 and then up 2. So this is my x direction, and this is in my y direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, there would be my new point. And then I can do likewise. I can change this point. So that's going to be back 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2. I can change this point over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. And I can change my last point down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Then I can just draw my, rec my uh, square back in here. And that would be my translation using Algebra 1 skills. So now we're going to go to Algebra 2 skills, and we're going to look at these points. So let's take this green point, for instance. This point is 1, 2, and it's 1, 2, 3. And its new point is going to be negative 2 and a positive 5. So what I did is I took my x-coordinate and I subtracted 4, and I took my y-coordinate and I added um, 2. Same thing with all these other ones. I can uh, I take this purple one down here. This is the point 4, negative 1. And if I take my x-coordinate and I subtract 4, I do, in fact, end up on the x-axis, which is 0. And then if I add 2 to negative 1, I end up at positive 1. Okay. So it tends to work that if we just subtract 4 from our x and add 2 to our y, that's going to move our, mat or move our object. So doing that with matrices, we would just take a matrix with our points. So let's look at this point. This is the point 2, 3, where these are my x's and the second row is my y's. The point 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 is that point here. And then I've got the point 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. You can see this is the exact same numbers as on the last slide to hopefully make this easier for you. Um, here's the point 4, negative 1. 4, negative 1 is right here. And my last point is 1, 0, which is right here. Then if I take this matrix down here and I add it to the previous matrix, notice that all of my first, my top coordinates are a negative 4 and all of my bottom coordinates are a 2 which means I'm going to subtract 4 from my x and I'm going to add 2 to my y, which is exactly what I did back here, right? I took the 2 and I subtracted 4 to get negative 2, and then I have got my positive here, so I started at 3 and I added 2 and I got 5. So same thing here, if I'm at 5, 2, I'm going to um, subtract 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to add 2, and my new, oops, that should be, that should be green. Uh, up to would be there. Okay. So hopefully you see that this is the same. Make sure that your um, matrix that is all of your points. So this is a 2 by 4. When you have your translation matrix, this also has to be a 2 by 4, or it doesn't work. Um, because again, you're adding the same exact thing to each individual element. You're going to add 4, 2 to 5, 2. You're going to add the 4, 2 to the 2, 3. You're going to add the 4, 1 with the 4, 2. And you're going to add the 1, 0 with the 4, 2. So it all lines up perfectly. And a translation is just a addition of a matrix with the same exact um, dimensions where the top value is how much you're moving it in the x direction and the bottom value is how much you're using it in the y direction.